wonderful. Thank you so much. I condoed my closet so hard I had to go get an outfit. Oh, well. Because all I had left was like a bra and sweatpants that I only wear when I have the flu. Oh, gotcha. That's, so I got that's a little the danger, suit. the danger of condoing. You over condo. <laughs> <laughs> You're looking at my butt right now. <laughs> I have known you uh, for a very long time. So and long. I met you as a writer at SNL, and everyone who ever worked in a writer's room with you knew you to be the funniest person on earth. And now it's really exciting because uh, you're acting a lot more now, and the world is seeing uh, how funny I am. You are. I'm aging into these older lady characters. I was born at 50. I was born a matron. <laughs> but I always wore the gray spray in my hair and played the mother superior in eighth grade in Sound of Music. And now... I'm actually of, a, of an approximate age, <laughs> I'm nearing an approximate age where I could play a lady, say, in her 50s. That's wonderful. <laughs> and, and the world is so happy to have it. And, uh, and now, and you, you've created so many characters, uh, too many to list for uh, uh, wonderful actors at SNL over the years. You have a new character. I have a new character. For yourself that I now, which is really exciting. Just to soothe myself and my friends. It's just kind of not fully fleshed out yet, but I was going to try it out on you. Um, Great. It's, uh, it got inspired when I was drinking some tea, some green tea, and I found what was on the box so comforting. Come, come over here, Seth. Okay, I, come sit next The world is just such a scary place now, so I just... Okay. I, I and what's the name of feel, your character? Um, my character's name is Nana Teabag. Okay, gotcha. So just c come over here with okay. me and just really park your head in my bosom. Just go. Okay. Like that? Okay. Just right in the bike rack. Okay. <laughs> now just close your eyes. Okay, the bike rack. And I'm just going to read about tea. You ready? Yeah. Through the screened front door, zingy lemongrass and sprightly spearmint cokes contemplative pan-fired green teas to come play. <laughs> Calmly, Lemon Verbena opens the door and invites them all to a cup of tea. <laughs> now wait, there's a little bit more. Okay. Giggling, giggling notes of curious chai tea peek mischievously from behind a painted screen. They summon us and gently suggest that we join their spicy hang and leave our pantaloons at the door. Okay. <laughs> you have Go back such... and sit there because I'm starting to get straight. <laughs> <laughs> you have such... My 10% went to 12. Okay. You're up to 12? That's I'm your... up to 12. That's a new I'm record. With you. You're foxy. Thank you. Your diction is such that you were just like blowing those words across the top of yeah, my hair. Yeah, very just Sally Kellerman. Yes. Blue cheese dressings. <laughs> you had uh, another incredible performance this year, and even Jesse Eisenberg, a previous guest, was shouting you out. Uh, an episode sweet. of Documentary Now, uh, you played, you basically uh, channeled Elaine Stritch. I channeled her. I did not do a real impression of her. No, no you, one can be Elaine Stritch. You grabbed her spirit. Yes. Uh, because there was this famous moment in this documentary about the company cast recording where she was having issues singing her song, Ladies Who Lunch. Yes. Uh, you, in this episode, uh, were singing a song, I Gotta Go, also having difficulties. Let's take a look at a clip real fast. I gotta go. Take 11. Benedict, just so we're clear, earlier, many times I mentioned I had an eye doctor appointment to get my eyes scraped. I have already taken the medication, and it's ripping through my system. So we need to be brisk with this. Let's just do it. And I gotta go. I should do better or different than this. No <laughs> kidding. <laughs> it was... It was so... So joyous to watch you do. I hope you enjoyed uh, doing it. It was so, so beyond. I'm such a theater nerd. I got my degree in theater in college. I always did theater. And it was, and, and I stage managed company when I was young. And my mom actually played that Lane Stritch role. She hadn't oh, done theater wow. since high school. And she said, I turned 40 and I'm going to get my license finally. And driver's license, and I'm going to be in a show. And she played, she sang Ladies Who Lunch. So it was like a perfect little beautiful thing. But we, we kept laughing because we loved doing it so much and learning all the music that we kept, like, we finished. And they're like, great, we're wrapped. And we're like, can't we go to Seattle in a van and <laughs> do this at local theaters? 